following tips from whistleblowers of unsafe occupied structures with ceilings on the verge of collapse at Chitebi Secondary School. A team from the National Building Review Board visited the school on 22nd February 2024 to ascertain the validity of the complaints. According to the board spokesperson, Herbert Ziwa, the board team discovered that two buildings, the Kamalgeya block with six classrooms and COVID block of three classrooms, had ceilings on the verge of collapse. These eucalyptus poles were fixed to stop the cracked ceilings from falling. Ziwa highlighted that the buildings were constructed without a building plan and no professionals were engaged. And there was no building permit. We also found out that there was no evidence of uh, engaging professionals. That is, uh, the architects, the engineers, we are not on ground. To the surprise of the team, the buildings were housing learners to full capacity and had no provisions for persons with a disability. The board noted further that there was an ongoing construction of a temporary shed of timber frames still without a building permit. Following the inspection, the board officially communicated to the school head teacher and the building committee chairperson Kampala Capital City Authority to ensure safety and compliance. We also wrote a second letter to the KCCA building committee, which is responsible for all building operations in Kampala, including uh, Ruvaga Division, where uh, the school is. One, we were asking them to go on ground to find out more facts and also to uh, see whether the buildings can be retrofitted or, in the worst case scenario, demolished because of the cracks that uh, we had uh, visibly seen. The authority was supposed to report to the board within two weeks that ended 7th March 2024. The school was also notified in writing to evacuate learners from Kamalgeya and COVID blocks since these structures were not fit for use until an occupation permit is obtained from the board. We visited the school today to make a follow-up of this matter that puts learners' lives at a risk. Whereas we were welcomed into the school premises and had a verbal interaction with the head teacher, Mr. Mohamed Kamalgeya, he declined to comment on this matter. However, we were able to still take pictures of the learners who were still occupying the same classroom blocks. The classes were still full to capacity. Students' bags were hanging on the same eucalyptus poles, still holding the cracked ceiling. We engaged officials from Kampala City Authority over this matter. Yes, it's true that we received data from the National Building Review Board raising a number of concerns over structures at one of our education facilities. It is a letter that we take seriously and indeed uh, from our building committee and the directorate of uh, engineering and technical services as well as that of education, there is a conversation that has been triggered by the presence of that letter and their discussions and engagements that have been going on and indeed as a matter of surety, just like day follows night, we will respond appropriately to the concerns of the National Building Review Board. Now that KCCA is dragging to take action while the lives of the learners continue to be in danger, we ask to know what the board's next step should be. Under the Building Control Act, under Section 29, the powers to demolish or stop a building operation are vested in the building committees. At this moment, the hands of the National Building Review Board are tied. We have to wait until the KCC Building Committee takes action on this matter.